All right, thank you for your patience. We're gonna move on to the next run. AP story, the typing chronicles, but any percent by the extra. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, all right. What's up, everyone? This is Epistory Typing Chronicles. Uh, if the tech can do a countdown, I'll be ready to go. All right. All right, so this is Epistory. Uh, basically, everything you do Once in this game is typing. Time. The only thing that is it not the best done by typing is moving around. Worst of times. It's, it also has a there really awesome story, actually. Uh, to give a little, you know, and like summary about it, there is a girl in a box. coma right now. And uh, the more you play, the more like uh, areas you uh, show and the closer you are to getting out of the coma. Until a path appeared. And so she followed. So there is some unintended stuff that we will do in the run. So uh, it's actually going to take way shorter than you think. Also, I'm playing on Azerty, so if you think there. this is weird, set QSD, well, for the French and the Belgians, this is not weird. All of a sudden, she knew where she was. She was home. There is also a few difficulties in this game, though uh, we play on adaptive, because there is uh, the hardest one, uh, like, I mean, the I hardest difficulty, forward. but then there is adaptive, which makes it even harder if you type better. Um, I am also place. playing, you know, like if you type, you have to she press spacebar to times. make stuff show up. And then you can put it like it uh, automatically exit typing mode. But in a lot of places, she it's better to uh, do it manually to to save a few times. Uh, so you're seeing the combo system every time you do a type uh, or you type a word. Uh, and you type one in the in the time remaining, you will get a better combo. And with those combo points, you can buy upgrades. And the first upgrade will be uh, being able to move faster. Who? Where? So I can type this, but you Why? can also click the upgrades, which is faster, obviously. So basically, the game tracks uh, how many mistakes you've made in like the last few words, and it makes up the difficulty based on that. So if you type completely mistakeless, it's going to be tougher. Like, uh, you'll see there's going to come up a nest soon, which is basically a lot of enemies that are uh, coming towards you, and they will actually move faster than... All right, so now we're going to learn sprint, so we can actually start moving a bit faster here. The more she remembered, the stronger she felt. Dangers awaited beyond the forest, sensing a terrible wrongness. She looked up, and fire fell from the sky. So in that cave it's creating, we're actually going to, at the end of that dungeon, we're picking up the fire ability. So basically, we type the word fire, and then we can break all the words that are uh, with a red text. And then we have blue text, this word as well, just an ice one. Okay, so this is a nest. So you'll see them move towards, or like close towards me. If they hit me, you die instantly. It's all random, by the way, these words. Gonna get some more Beckett points here. And then we're gonna try and keep our combo until pretty much the end, uh, so the next nest. So before our uh, combo runs out, we're gonna type some words so we keep it going. If we lose our combo, we will actually lose about 500 points. Uh, Somewhere around that. So it is quite bad to lose your combo. Uh, because we're actually gonna skip an entire entire area 
And yeah, the points is just really close. At some point, we're only gonna have like 500 points uh, to act, to like unlock the next area. So these are the fire words. You can see they show up as like really weird letters. We will be able to uh, type them soon. Yeah, important is to just not lose the combo at all. And only fire could save her. She saw something across the lava. Alright, so now we're gonna wait as long as possible before we actually type this word so we can have more time to run the uh, bottom and not lose the combo. This is the first point where we actually drop the combo because I'm gonna buy an upgrade and I want to start with that upgrade with like a clean combo because otherwise uh, I will lose combo very quickly on uh, the next nest. The maze began to crumble before. All right, so we're gonna buy intensity right now, which makes us every word that we type will increase our uh, combo mode, uh, combo meter a bit more. So I'm gonna wait until it runs out now and then start typing. And now we have fire, by the way, which burns up the next word. So if we type fast enough here, we should be able to keep our combo, which we are. If I didn't buy that upgrade, I would have lost the combo. Although, if you type even faster than I am, like I am not really that great of a typist, you don't have to learn that uh, upgrade at all. So we're gonna type a few words of that bug and we're gonna let some words burn away uh, while getting these fires because we need to uh, fire these or like type these to unlock the next area. Okay, hopefully we might actually lose a combo here. Yeah, all right, whatever. That's all right. Now we're going to move up to get some more points. They broke new ground together. And we're going to get velocity and intensity now. The reason we split it up was because if we would have learned uh, Intensity twice, it wouldn't have done anything. Alright, so we're gonna get these. This. And we're gonna go down here. And then get these to the right from really far away. So we have enough time to not lose the combo. The cavern opened up before. It's gonna be really close. Barely made that. And now for the last nest of this area. And there stood the meteor's heart. If 
we're good. We will not drop combo at all. Mostly because of intensity. If I didn't invest in intensity at all, it would be very hard to keep up your combo here. I'm gonna leave one word because it's just gonna get fired away anyway. Same for this one. quickly want to mention that we want to thank ESA for supporting the event and for allowing us to stream on their channel for the first time. They provide us with additional equipment as well as experience and knowledge. Um, with that being said, if you're a Twitch Prime user, you can consider using your free monthly subscription right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to both the ESA and BSG emotes and you get to support both events. So what's holding your back? All right, velocity and intensity again. Also, I didn't even bother with that really long word. I just typed the first one and it just burns off the next one. All right, so now we're moving to the uh, ice. So the ground orb. would be forever marked. Green shoots of new life surrounded her. Gonna ignore any typing right now until we're uh, at the actual, you know, words we need to type to move on. right here though we're gonna get, gonna get like a few more points here, here we go then if you have actually press space to go to typing mode just before hitting like a cutscene like this as you can see you can even type during the cutscenes and we will actually use that uh, a couple times to not drop the combo because if you Bonus, costly stuff. Cool. You can see some ice words as well. But yeah, if we don't do that, some cutscenes are just too long and we will lose combo anyway, regardless. So it's a nice way to hold your combo. So yeah, now we can also skip this little part. Otherwise, you need to like run around a bit. So this saves a couple seconds. All right, this uh, this drowning hall actually has a really nice skip. Uh, it actually Water I found it everywhere. when when I first started changed running this game. The hall denied her entry. It changed it's coming up kind of soon. She would not be denied entry. These halls of wisdom still stood firm, though they had been racked by the waves. The looming walls and rising height overwhelmed her. Water blocked her path. Passage forbidden. I can't do this. I just can't. All right, so these stepping stones, Water we will do path. an unintended trick to actually not having to move all the way back here. Because normally you cannot actually get to that bottom one. But if you do this, you can. If you stand on the red tiles, you have to start all over. But if you do that, which is unintended, you don't have to do it. Normally you get the one at the bottom first, and then you get all the other ones. But yeah, like I said, that's not needed anymore now. Yeah, some words are pretty funny uh, that you have to type. I had to type ill like five times already as well or something. It's quite fitting with this BSG. <laughs> the more she learned, the less she knew. All right, so now we have some uh, ice guys following me. So we actually have to run and get the ice upgrade now. And then we can actually type these guys. I don't know who I am. As you can see, they're weirded right now. Mountains rose around her, looming, mocking, taunting. This is ice orb. A light After that, there is still spark and wind. Power. And we need all of them to actually get to the final uh, level, which is the desert. So while the cutscene is going, we type some words there. Holy shit. That's a long word. Alright. 
First we're going go, to we're gonna go to the right here. So every time you wanna type fire words, you have to uh, type fire first. She dealt with the barriers one at a time. Uh right. New challenges approached me. Claws bared and eyes hung. Uh, this is a really hard area to not drop your combo on. I usually drop combo here somewhere. Also because I'm a bit colorblind and it makes it really hard for me to read the fire words. Yeah, I'll be dropping combo here, yeah. Oh well. Like, as soon as you hit this area, you can get, like... It's very easy to type these, honestly, like, obviously, because it's only, like, one word, one letter words. Alright, it's not that bad, though. You can screw up your combo a couple times without really, uh... screwing over the run, so it's all fine. Not be All right. Okay, so now we're learning the last velocity and intensity upgrades. So now we are moving at the quickest speed as possible right now. I'm gonna type this. Alright, so coming up is the area I meant, where we will be typing uh, when you're not supposed to be. It's gonna be a cutscene as soon as I hit this, but I- Ah, oh, okay, I, I screwed up. If I hit typing mode a bit faster, I wouldn't have had to drop my combo here. Oh, where am I going? The wrong way, apparently. All right, this is a little puzzle, although it's just one through seven, so it's pretty easy. This is what I meant. So now we can type during cutscene again. All right, just to be safe, I'm gonna do like a thing that you should not always have to do, but there is like a two, 2K points uh, box here if we do this stepstone puzzle, so much had happened here. which makes me kind of Guarantee so to get enough points to actually finish the run. Because I will need uh, 40, 40k points uh, after this level to be able to uh, go to the spark place. And this gives me 2000 points, so that's really nice. Almost at the next nest here. I'm gonna type this as well. But those are not giving points, they're just giving uh, collectibles. Fragments, they're called here. Okay. This can be pretty hard, actually, this one. Depending on how fast you type before, of course. So yeah, fire burns the next word, uh, and you may have noticed that ice makes them stop. So it starts off with just white words and fire, and then it's gonna switch around, give me some ice words as well. See, these, like, fire words that are really far away are really hard for me to read.
So I usually do the other words first until the fire ones are close enough and then dive those. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that's already pretty close. But we survive for now. It's actually not that bad. We're and now we're so already going to move to like the portal and, and like it should move us in instantly. Oh, it's taking a long time to spawn. There we go. All right. Now we're going to learn some perseverance, which means the bar, the combo bar will take longer to deplete. All right. Though great wisdom flowed from the springs. Still so now we have 41k points. So I'm going to get some more backup her, stuff here. She felt stronger for the trial. This is a 500 coin box, and then we're getting a 2k box, and then... Uh, I actually... I messed up, right? I said 40k points. Now you need 45k points to actually uh, go to the spark place. Which is no problem, because we are picking up a 2k points box soon, so... Right here, there is a 2k points box. And that pretty much gives us 45k. There is one more 500 points box coming up soon as well if I need it. But we'll be okay. Yeah, this one requires 4k. And then the next one, 45k. Normally, you're supposed to get like through a whole like woods area as well. With another really long nest. So it takes a long time. It's nice we can barely skip it uh, if you type fast enough. The, stood empty. the route she is always different depending on your world. type speed. Like you can skip a lot of more stuff if you type really, really fast. Okay, so we just unlocked stones. this now. Only 313 points spare. But from this point, we shouldn't have that she much issues anymore with, with points. Mm. We need to have 80,000 coming out of the next area, which is the spark area. There is a few, like, unintended skips here as well on the spark area. Alright. These cutscenes, by the way, are unskippable. Okay, first we're gonna see this bugged out enemy that is, like, inside the thing, like, like you see there. It's been there since it came out the game, so they, it, for some reason they did not fix it. I don't know why, but it's a bugged one. You can still type it though if you know what the word is, but it, it's kind of hard to see because it's like cut off a bit. From within by a million stars, something new. Alright, spark time. We will get the spark upgrade after this. Spark is really nice because uh she stood below a skyborn city if you type amongst its roots uh, of iron and steel. An enemy that has more than two words, but the city it will actually chain to, to other enemies nearby. So it's kind of the fastest way to get through the game. Now we're just rushing to she the, uh, the, machines of industry the orb. And the fires of creation within the strange constructs around her. There was so much she could learn here. It's perfect. Now we're gonna I'll go down. It. that as well. Hi, I'm lost. All right, so we're getting the orb now. 
Usually we would lose combo, but if we switch to Spark here and then just type randomly on the keyboard, we will actually get like very short two letter words that are like above us, and we can actually keep our combo that way, which is really cool. Began to awaken at her touch. So here you can see that uh, if there is a enemy with two or more words, we actually uh, get a chain reaction. Also, let's not drop combo here, please. She could change it. She could heal it. Can I have a small moment from you? Sure. All right. A quick announcement about the schedule. There is a flu going on, so a lot of the runs will be changed. Uh, the sketch would be wouldn't be as accurate as it is, uh, and the change will come on the fly. We will try to reschedule all the uh, met incentive that has been missed. Thank you very much. She all right. Not truly belong here. Perhaps with the more step stones dreams, here. She could make it her home. We open this gate over here, but we still need to go back through here to open the door again. Now we need to hit it one more time, so that's why we broke this chest here. That, that there is just a fragment, so don't need to pick it up. Doesn't give us points. While waiting for the porter to start, we can type those small she little words there. To belong among the ironworks, the strange this is a puzzle. Keep hey, CRT. I like that. Keep the machines on for me. Now, something that's really cool uh, coming up later, if we're like, we're gonna go moving up. And if we type the CRT word from up, it will open a gate somehow, and we will be able to skip a lot of time uh, in a little bit. And dared to think that she herself it doesn't make any sense, actually. I'll tell you when it's happening. So now there's going to be another nest, she so we're going to drop our combo so we can learn Each all the spark upgrades. Stars. So I'm not going to move in yet. Makes this a uh, bit easier. So we're going to learn it four times, and we're going to go in. Now, if you type really fast and there is two enemies close by, both having uh, two words, and you type the first word of both enemies, you will actually break all of the words on screen. If you're really fast, that is. So basically, every time you type a word, you see this uh, electrifying shot go to the enemy, but if it before it reaches the enemy, if you type the other one, you will actually be able to uh, get all the words to go off. Okay, let's focus here. Okay, we made it. Good. Now we just gotta open this gate coming up. No need to drop the bridge. Uh, if we were fast, then we could open typing mode there as well to type a bit more. But I shouldn't lose my combo regardless. There we go. And this. Oh yeah, and now... I'm gonna type this CRT word. As you can see. And it's gonna open a gate later. Which doesn't make any sense, because that gate is so far away from the CRT word, so... I don't know why it works, but it does. We are happy.
All right, so here now the door is open. Normally that door is is uh, is shut, but because we typed the CRT word, it's open, and I don't know why, but yeah. They're not connected in any way. camera changes and it's high enough to type that word right there transformer to open that gate all right in a little bit we'll reach the nest here After that nest, we have to have 80,000 points. But that nest is really long, so it gives a lot of points, so we should be good. And if we're not, we can always get some more uh, optional Corrosion stuff. Killing the city. Its arteries clogged with rust. Its home standing empty. All right, let's uh, get some more spark and teleport. Teleport for after this area, we can get back faster. See how fast it goes with spark. also type every word that is on screen so even if it's really far away as long as you can read it you can type it now the hardest area for me here is the fire words obviously they're really hard for me to read By the way, M3, feel free to talk about the calls or whatever, because this takes really long. I will do. Um, during BSG Annual, any donation higher than 5 euro over the course of this event will make you eligible for one of the 10 Action Hanks team codes kindly donated to us by True Black Shark. A big thanks to them. Um, in the meantime, we are raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. 95% of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society. The other 5% will help improve PSG. Go ahead and read some more if you want. Sure, I can do. Um, we also want to thank the, uh, we also want to thank ESA for supporting the event and for allowing us to stream on their channel for the first time. They provide us with additional equipment as well as experience and knowledge. And knowledge. And we can also immediately mention the sponsor real quick, because Fuse Sonic, who supports the event with several monitors for the streaming area as well as several practice monitors. Uh, obviously with minim minimal latency for speed and accuracy. They simply understand gamers and want to show their support to continue BSG and to spread the love to gamers in Europe. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, let's get some fire in here. And let's not even care about that word. I don't care. Alright. Seems like we'll barely have 80k maybe not i can't count right now 79 400 all right whatever we'll be typing some more words when we're outside here 
and then we'll be uh, do a teleport. Tamed the lightning. See how uh, close the points are. And come away stronger. Okay, let's uh, teleport now. Drawing halls. So she left the city behind. Should get enough anyway on the way now. I always go the wrong way here for some reason. Let's go down. Go here. Uh, no, actually go down a bit more apparently. Yes, there we go. That's what I needed to do. It's, it's easy to get lost in this game. Alright, so there is another chest we can take to get that ADK we needed. So let's quickly grab that. If I didn't drop my combo at all in the spark plates, this wouldn't have been necessary, but it's only a small detour. So now we have ADK and we can actually uh, go in here. Now the last points we need is 100k, but that should be pretty easy. So upcoming is the wind area. And tornado's fury blotted out the sun. Now this wind area is pretty cool. As you've noticed in like the spark plays, the water plays, the fire plays, we had like a really big nest at the end. Um, and here in the wind place, you normally have... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Here in the wind place, you normally have two big nests, but you can actually skip one. By doing a dead abuse. And I will be doing that. Oh, let's not die here. Islands floating in the sky ahead of her. All right, this is the, the wind area. Had ripped the windmills rotated lazily in the distance. A deceptive calm filled the air. Magnolia winds swept gently through her hair. Yet the land lay broken around her, fractured by little the puzzle here. Home. She wondered if she were broken too. Already typed some words because we would need to anyway on this. So you only have limited time. You only have a specific amount of seconds before uh, hitting the next of these checkpoints. All right, then the door will open. She wondered what stories had been unearthed. By the tornado's furious passage. Who will tell my story? What is my story? A lattice work of ruins surrounded her, arches of bone, and columns of ivory, a skeleton home. Uh, where am I going? I need to be here. There we go. A 
Confusion of wind swept past her. All right, so whatever reason, if we dead abuse, we will appear here. So we can go back and not have to do the nest. Poisonous lies. So first we're going to run away from these wind guys because we can't type them yet. And we're going to get the wind orb and then we're going to dead abuse. Skip this guy, and we're gonna dead the abuse on that guy. Blow her away. Later. Until all still. So we're gonna drop combo before we die, because if we have combo and we die, sometimes you just magically lose 20k points. Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. The winds so now we have all the upgrades. Like and her voice carried the will of a hurricane. Now we're gonna do that dead abuse, and then we appear back at the thunder area. Spark area. And we can skip a complete nest with this. See, so we're back here, for whatever reason. And now we can just move back from here. There is one more nest though at the end, but we skipped the nest in the middle with doing this trick. You lose out on some more points, but that should be good. Like, you need 100k after this. Should be barely enough. Uh, wind. Alright, gonna learn knockback and fire. The landscape had surrendered to the winds. Islands scattered, like pieces of her. Was she really here? Our little mini game. Need to hit the right ones. Here we go. Now the last nest. Really here? And then we can enter the desert area. She found the, center of the, so the desert area requires 100k points. Once again, M3, if there is anything to say or donations, feel free right now. Yeah, we don't have any donations yet, uh, but when we bring it up, if you're a Twitch Prime user, you can consider using your free monthly subscription right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to both the ESA and BSG emotes, and you get to support both events. Um, yeah, with that, we want to thank you for watching the Benelux Speedrun Gathering. We organize monthly gatherings as well in the Benelux for speedrunners. Uh, we're streaming for you live from Bladel, the Netherlands. She 
Also, not to forget to mention, there are, are still incentives that uh, hasn't been met and there are still bit bars left. Um, we have the Yoshi story, uh, any percent where we can uh, battle for the color. And an incentive that's the next one, that's the menu glitch exhibition by Liv in Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinisters. Um, we're only 20 euros short on that one, so if you want to see that menu glitch exhibition, feel free to make this happen. All right, as you can see, 89k points, and I just got 11k, so we're just about right. Uh, well, it, 101k, so we have 1,000 points spare, so it's really close. She left the islands with so now we're gonna teleport to the drowning halls again. She realized that she felt whole for the first time. Now we're gonna move to the desert, which is the final area. Unlock a few areas here. <coughs> but yeah, there in, there is actually a lot of areas we skip. All fragments is way longer than this. It's like almost double as long if you do all the all the areas in the game. Although the desert, the last nest of the game, I don't know why they did it, but it's like the same song, like the first 10 seconds of a song in loop. Like it's so obvious when it loops, it's really annoying. That nest is the longest one. You're there for like five or six minutes. And it's just the same 10 seconds of the song over and over and over. I don't know why, but it's really annoying. You'll see it later. The desert there we go, entering the, the desert now. Horizon. There was nothing behind her. She didn't know how she arrived in the desert. No footsteps in the sand. A hot sun beat down all around. Ahead of her lay a distant mountain range, shimmering in the heat. That's where I need to be, she said. She had to cross the desert. The desert was littered with the scars of past lives. Silent ghost in hazy air. She couldn't remember who they had been, nor what battle they had given their lives to. She couldn't even remember who she was. Who am I? Although the ending song after beating the game is actually really amazing. Alright, and now if we're fast enough, we actually don't have to kill any enemy here. Just need to uh, get these three here. There we go. Where is everyone? She asked the burning sun, but the silent star did not reply. Alright, this is short nests, and then after that, in a bit, it's gonna be a really long one. 
This is why I get knockback, because it makes it a bit easier. Although the annoying thing about knockback is that it will knock enemies off screen sometimes, and then you cannot see the word anymore, and if you can't see it, you can't type it. So even if you know what word it is, if you can't see it, you can't type it. So. Which will happen quite a lot in the last nest, but without knockback it's pretty hard for me. Oh, I should... A lot of words on the screen right now. Holy shit. Ah. Uh-oh. 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 Come on! Yes! Okay. Jesus. <laughs> that should not be that hard. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Alright, that was really close. Spark for the win, pretty much. She wondered if any of this was real. So now we have to move right she here and then back to the left for some reason, because otherwise this area Maybe, doesn't start she said to, the shimmering to explore we are all too small. or to unlock. But the ghosts in the desert didn't reply. All right. Alright, <coughs> the final nest coming up soon. Down to succumb to its eternal weight. It would be easier for her to give in. But she had to reach the mountains. I have to reach the mountains. Alright, so everyone enjoy the music. Because it's gonna be amazing. Kappa. Alright. There it is. Final nest. Sands rose around. So it's literally this for five minutes or more. Uh oh. This actually I might die here. Come on! Okay. Artist bar gone. <laughs> Knock back for the win, pretty much. Okay. Getting through the fire words is the hardest part, so. Now it's just five minutes of enjoying the same music. Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. 95% of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society. The other 5% will help to improve VSG. 
Um, and now for a quick word about our sponsor, Fuse Sonic, who supports the event with several monitors for the streaming area, as well as several practice monitors, obviously with minimal latency for speed and accuracy. They simply understand gamers and want to show their support to continue BSG and to spread the word, uh, to spread the love to gamers in Europe. So yeah, if you see the enemies come from the right, and I type them too fast, they will get pushed off screen. Especially with wind, because they, you know, you already push them back with wind, and even more. Hey, it's a Dutch, cool. But yeah, especially with knockback and wind. If you're on Twitch Prime user, you can consider using your free monthly subscription right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to the both the ESA and BG emotes, and you get to support both events. Alright, we're almost done. Soon there will be really long words, and then it's almost done. So obviously we're gonna use fire again. everyone is enjoying the music there it is counter terror A lot of these words, I don't even know what they mean. So it's very hard to type them fast. Okay, I think it's over. There we go, finally. <laughs> All right. Time is coming up in like a minute from now. But she had to press on. This might be a PB actually. Here we can sprint. Too bad. Yeah. Time ends whenever I type the last word, which is uh, the word I, I think, because it says who am I, I think. Uh, I call for a minute more. Okay, get ready. Might be this one or the one after that. Ah, it's one after that. Or maybe after this. Oh yeah, it's after my name is. This is my name is, so time and... Time! Alright. I think this is a PB. 
<laughs> All right, now enjoy a really awesome soundtrack. It's if only they use this music. Wait, the music is not a name. Okay, there we go. If only they use this music for the final nest. Really, really awesome. Yeah, this is the girl that made up the story. She finally awoken from the coma. Gives me like, this song gives me like Live is Strange vibes. It's really awesome. But yeah, we're not doing that great on schedule. So uh, let's hit it off. Thank you guys for watching. This was my final run. I was Dixterra. Good luck with the, or like have fun with the rest of the marathon. Thank you, the extra, for that epic st AP, sto <laughs> AP story tip typing chronicles run. Um, we're now gonna have a small break, and then after that, we're gonna have Super Mario Galaxy 2 any percent ran by no one else than Shadow Frost. Sit tight and make yourself ready for a good run. We're now, while we're setting up, we're gonna put on a few ads. So see you guys in a second. <laughs> 